Good afternoon, neighbors. So the wife says she's finally done with having mud on her car, having mud on her shoes. When the kids are nicely dressed up with their Sunday clothes on, they go into the driveway, they step on mud, and then there we go. Have to change them all out before we go to church. So get that problem fixed today. So we're going to get gravel. All right, neighbors, as you can see, this is definitely not your ideal driveway. I have a circle driveway, and on the upper side, we scraped it down and got rid of the little bit of a hill, and it just became looking like that. So on the lower side, we actually have already been putting gravel in the last few years. Well, we've been here, what, three years? So in two years, we put some gravel down, and still, all that dirt manages to get down here onto that right there and then you get this result you get nothing but mixed gravel dirt it is just a mess so she's tired of it because here where she parks her car and when she gets off to park her car of course there is mud on both sides we got gravel coming today and once he unloads a little bit of it we're gonna see how much he can actually unload and spread because we have trees above us what he can't do we're gonna put the tractor to work today spreading that gravel Puppy, that was super cool huh? that was super cool guys Remember, that was super cool look at all the rocks ah. uh -huh. oh, going to the tree. all right let's go check it out all right neighbor first off if you haven't picked up these yet you should these are called bucket teeth they go on your front bucket and they work great for brush they help a little bit with digging it's only 24 horsepower so i think that's what it's lacking if i had a bigger tractor and these bucket teeth in it then it would really dig into the any kind of hill but since i don't have that much horsepower it's not that big for me on digging however on brush man it'll get all kinds of vines tied up into here when you go back to it you'll clear out so much brush so easily so i'm gonna remove these and then that way i can just work with my bucket and move my gravel around a lot better. Now that that's off, let's see what type of equipment we'll be working with today. We got our box grader today. Make sure you got these turned upward because these teeth right here, they're only gonna be used when you're actually scraping down, let's say maybe a hill or you're trying to flatten it out, you'll scrape down to different levels. And if you're gonna redo your driveway, you can flip them downward as well so that way you can kind of turn the old rock back up. But since it's all brand new rock that they're bringing in, all brand new gravel, then we need to turn them upward and just use the bottom scraper. We're gonna be using that bottom edge of that scraper. We're all tied in. Make sure we're nice and level. And we are going to use level number five. That way we can be leaving a good amount of gravel. And as you can see, our gravel guy got ahead of us. He worked pretty quickly. I gave him a phone call. He said he was only 30 minutes out and sure enough, he made it in 30 minutes. So he's already got us a little pile right there. Those are size 34. These, that's what these are called. That's what you want on a foundation because here we're gonna make a, a parking deck. That's what we're gonna be using. Different size of course, but you can get an idea of how big they actually are. That's not what you wanna be driving on. What you wanna be driving on though is 34 is on the bottom. And then I'm gonna show you the crusher run. You may still remember how it looked before, look how it looks after. That's after he spread the crusher run on top of the 34s. I'll show you up here that we have the 34s. 
We have a very thin foundation, the 34s, and then we have the Crusher Run on top. Crusher Run is what you want to be driving on. It packs down really good because it's broken down, as you can see, and it only has big rocks like these, and the rest of it, it's all broken down powder. And that's what you want to be driving on. So we have a little pile that he left us here, and we have a little pile that he left us there, plus the parking deck we're gonna try to level out. So that way when he comes with that second load of, of Crusher on, he can leave it like here. When you have this space, and you have a really good truck driver, you'll have minimal tractor work to do. But if you don't, that's where your tractor comes in handy. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what the exhaust grader and these little mini tractors can actually do with those big 34s. done neighbors much better right yeah this gravel driveway definitely needed some work and it's finally done now we had three truck loads come in one of 34s two of crusher on to top it off and it actually came out really good even though the truck did have some space to help us spread it out we really needed that subcompact tractor to actually smooth things out and make them look a lot more even so I hope you enjoyed this video guys and in my channel I have a few more videos about the subcompact tractor and in the comment section below let me know if you will have any other questions about it because they are a big investment but if you have at least an acre or more I highly recommend getting a subcompact tractor. They do come in handy and in this channel I will be showing a lot more videos of how I use it around the land and to me of how it's actually worth what I paid for it. Every now and then I actually go out and do a job to help me cover the cost of it and I'll try to bring you along as well so that way you can actually be inspired and maybe hey that becomes a side hustle for you and maybe one day a full-time job of running tractors, running excavators, running uh, skid steers for you and it's an actual good business to have and maybe one day I'll get there but until then that subcompact tractor on this land has done a lot of work. So guys Thank you for watching, like the video, share it with your friends and family, and until next time, take care.